on November 19, 18. So both loved Kuwait, loved Kuwait very much, as, as the, uh, the son were talking to me. For the sake of humanity, both made their wish, really, to donate to Faculty of Medicine, Department of Anatomy, their dearest body. I think there is nothing more valuable to, to donate the body of dearest guy to, 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 to the to, to Faculty of Medicine or to the any scientific. And these people proved it could be. And I'm, I really salute you, both of you, and really the late. And their soul, I'm sure they are so happy and they are sharing with us tonight. Well, uh, a week back I was there when I received with the son and with the dean and the vice dean of faculty of medicine and under secretary from the ministry and really was so touchy to say, and one thing this, uh, his son told me, I request you one thing. I said, what do you, well, what do you want, my dear? He said, before I go to state, I'd like to see my father again. I said, please, you are putting me down. This, think that this is part of you. Any time, any, 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 any place you could come, you could just come to the faculty and you could look at your father. And I can assure you, the father's body will be there left for one year. No one is going to touch it. And any time you are welcome to come and see your father. Well, it is not surprising to me that Indian love this country, honestly. And they are loyal. I don't believe the nationality is the loyalty. No. The loyalty, this people who donated their body, their wish, and his wish, father's wish was that please donate. I love this country. I learned from this country. Please donate my body to this country. The mother did the same thing 12 years back. Imagine. And this never happens. I mean, imagine from the religions, Hindu, which is the most, like Islamic, more even. Imagine how the dearest body is donating to the faculty. And this is un, un, intolerable, unbelievable. So I really, again, I salute you and I salute the family. So it's not surprising to me really this, this uh, Indian are loving this country, our, our progress, our uh, and, and things which done by the help of our Indian, not from now, I think from olden times when our uh, uh, grandfather used to, to make a business and trade thing to, to India. So this is uh, well known and even, I mean majority of you know, I think majority of our world even is uh, coming from India. So it's really, uh, it's a time for me to, to thank uh, Doshi's family. And it's really appreciation. On behalf of the Faculty of Medicine, I think um, my, my dean is here. Um, he, um, he was so pleased really knowing this one. Everybody, honestly, when I speak this small incident to anyone outside the faculty, everybody appreciated. So his soul, your body, your father, your mother's soul is all the time smiling. And I'm sure now he, he, also they are present with us at this beautiful moment. I, I take this opportunity to thank everybody really to give me this opportunity to say a few words in this, in this occasion. And thank you all very much really.
May I request His Excellency the Ambassador of India to Kuwait, Mr. M. Kanapati, to speak a few words on this occasion. Thank you. What was the reason for that? I've just been here in the state of Kuwait for exactly less than 24 hours. And even though I have today met many a doctor, I think it's a matter of joy and privilege to be with you as you celebrate the Doctors' Fest 2006. What we just saw was an act of great nobility and humanity. And I would like to congratulate the family of the late Doshis and Kamlesh and Kirit Doshi for making this possible. Because I've been to many a place where doctors have talked of the difficulty in obtaining a human body for their practice, for their profession, and for their specialization. That's where the act of the Doshi family makes it all the more remarkable. It's also remarkable that it reinforces the bond of friendship between the state of Kuwait and the Republic of India. I think this is an act we should commend and congratulate. It's also... I think following the class act of Professor Hussain Dashti, his remarkable speaking ability is always a trouble, but I'll try to do my best. I think before I proceed further, I should commend and congratulate the Indian Doctors Forum for their human services in promoting the cause of Indo-Kuwait friendship. May I request now the President of Kuwait Medical Association, Dr. Abdulaziz al to say a few words to us. He's not at all a reluctant speaker, he's just trying to decide. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mr. Ambassador, all colleagues, this is not bland in the program. <laughs> Sir, may I request uh, Professor Abdullah Bebahani to kindly to say to your masters. You don't need to be uh, like Hussein Deshti, study in India to admire India. I do admire India and Indian doctors, and I consider it a great country, yet of moderation. So I will uh, do whatever I can in my hand to help you uh, promote your cause. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, uh, I really appreciate all the uh, the uh, good works done by the forum. I think uh, it's uh, even surpassing by its activity Kuwait Medical Association itself. Thank you very much. I congratulate you and wish you all the best in 2006. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now we come towards the lighter side of the program. Science and technology indeed provides materials for human civilization. But it is only through arts that human life is enriched and refined. India has an 
incredibly rich tradition of dance and music, be it a wedding, be it a religious ceremony, or be it harvesting or monsoon. Indians celebrate life's moments by dancing. Tonight, we...